Hello. I received this computer almost for free. It was battered, destroyed, full of dust. I spent $200 and turned it into a Chia plotter, which can plot seven plots in parallel in a day. This is a mess. It's got 500 gigabyte of hard drive. It's got eight gigabyte of RAM. It's super dirty. I need to clean the fans and all that stuff. Wow. So let's go do some shopping. So the first thing I did was I Googled the motherboard. You can actually buy one of these for around $50. And I found out what's, what's the maximum RAM and what sort of RAM I should buy and all that stuff. I spent $24 buying an eight gigabyte RAM for this motherboard on eBay. And I spent $150 buying uh, a cheap SSD drive. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's plotting right now. I'll show you in a minute. And I spent around $2 getting one of these thermal pastes because the CPU on this current motherboard I had on this old PC was overheating really badly. Time now for my shot. So I'm using some special cleaning solution to clean that. There's actually two ways you could do it. There's the two line method the cross line method and the drop method. I'm just gonna do the drop method. I'm just gonna guess how much I need. You don't want a bit too much, that, that, that's sufficient. Yeah, that's in now, nice. Good old Western digital. I need to read the instruction manual. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> install one of these. I installed the operating system in here, so. This is the external drive I choose. It's USB, it's external, has its own power. I'm going to connect it to a USB hub. For now, I've connected one of these to my computer. It's really up to you what external drive you select or internal HDD. It depends on how many USB ports you have. If you, if you want to use a USB hub, if you have a lot of SATA um, connections, SATA ports on your motherboard, then uh, go ahead if you have the power on your power supply go ahead and install a lot of internal ones um, Yeah, internal like cheap hard drives That will do this is quite this is very personal. It's all up to you. They could be slow hard drives I know that NAS hard drives they don't work very well the network hard drives So make sure it's an external hard drive or a SATA hard drive. I don't have that many plots So one should be sufficient for now. I'm going to add more as I get more plots so all you have to do now is to go to chia.net and download the chia blockchain app i have another video showing how to install the chia app i'll link it below now once you're in your app you click on add a plot so once i'm here i leave um the first section as default and here i'm going to do seven parallel plots I'm going to make another video detailing why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. And I'm, I'm just experimenting, you know, I'm not an expert. I'm experimenting for now and I'm learning as I go along. So I'm doing parallel plots and then I'm adding around like a 90 minute delay. I'm adding the delay because the first part or it's called the f first phase of the plotting is very, very CPU intensive. So you just want to make sure if you don't have a lot of resources, if you don't have a lot of CPU threads, you just want to make sure that you give it enough time for that specific plot to use as much resources as it can in phase one. And then the second plot starts. So it avoids your computer crashing and all that stuff. So here, if you could have um, allocate this much, then yeah, allocate it. I'm going to allocate it around 2000 megabytes of RAM and leave it at two threads and you can name it whatever you want. Now here, the temporary drive needs to be your fast drive, your, your fast SSD drive. Do not add your operating system drive as a temporary drive because you could lose your operating system because these temporary drives will burn out eventually. There's a lot of read and writes happening. Your final destination is your slow hard drive 
It doesn't need to be a SSD drive. It, it could be a very slow hard drive you have laying around. In my case, it's an external 10 terabyte hard drive. Then you create a plot and that gets added to your plot queue. Then you click on create plot and that gets added to your queue. So I'm plotting between five and six plots a day with this cheap computer. And it's only using at full power less than 130 watts.